Good day, everybody. Uh, today is Memorial Day 2022, and we're doing kind of a tribute shave uh, for a very solemn day uh, for those of us that came back and for those that never made it. Uh, so, um, yeah, so we're going to do a straight shave today. All kind of patriotic, all kind of Americana, and we'll go over that stuff at the end of the shave. Had a great... Uh, Great Zoom call last night, and uh, if you have not, if you remember the forum, right down here, www.theshavingcadre.com, join us on our Zoom calls. They happen every other Sunday, and we'd love to have you, and it's a lot of fun. Um, the reason why we are called the Shaving Cadre is because we have a cadre of people. I mean, it's a family. So come and join us, and if you're not a member of the cadre, come and join. The soap I'm using is unobtainium. Um, uh, the vendor and the gentleman is a good friend, and uh, he uh, he sunsetted his business, but definitely a true patriot. And you guys will all recognize who that is here in just a bit. This wa uh, this soap will take on a ton of water. but is perfect for a Memorial Day shave. And the razor has been strapped 30 and 60. And you'll probably recognize it as soon as I put it to my face. I think everybody is probably in agreement that even though summer doesn't start till later on in June, I think most people would agree that Memorial Day is the opening of the summer season. And we have a thread on the cadre that talks about Aloha shirts, Hawaiian shirts, however you want to call them. And there were some folks say, no, nah, it's not appropriate to wear before Memorial Day. Well, those of us that live in warmer climates, every day is summer, so we wear them every day. But those of you that said that you were going to start wearing them after uh, Memorial Day, start posting. But for those of us in the high desert of the Southwest, Memorial Day traditionally, traditionally, although we've already superseded that, traditionally is when we start seeing 100 degree temperatures. Now, in Arizona, we see them a little bit earlier than that, usually around the 20th of May. We were real early this year. But the most important thing is it tells us that our summer monsoon rains, they call it monsoon season, it's really not a season, it's just when the winds shift, um, usually begins about a month from now. Now, we have heard, don't know how accurate it's going to be, because, you know, weather forecasting is the most accurate thing on the planet, um, that we're supposed to have a better monsoon than last year, which was amazing, and it's supposed to start earlier, which means that our triple digit temps may be a somewhat a bit milder. Now, when I say milder, instead of 110, it'll be 105. But it'll probably be accompanied by a little bit more humidity, which is never good.
but there is nothing like watching the summer monsoons with all the wonderful lightning and the boomers uh, watching it from the desert. And so we, those of us that are from here, it is one of our highlights of our year. And frankly, when we get a good portion of our rain for the season, which if you've been watching the news and looking at Lake Powell, Lake Mead, or any of the watersheds, we need it. We're a little bit more fortunate down in the southwest part of Arizona because we have an aquifer that sits under our area. And uh, so we, as long as we can get some refill through our washes and arroyos, we're pretty good shape. However, those folks that are at lower elevations to the north of us. Depend on Salt River, they depend on the Colorado River Project, and those are all getting very, and Arizona's about to use, lose its allocation, so. So I'd love to ask everybody to, uh, Do a little rain dance for us to make sure that we get some water. Well, it's much appreciated. For those of you that know Kona, a.k.a. El Doggo, a.k.a. Wiley Coyote El Doggo, he knows that summer's coming because he's just being a good puppy and not wanting to go out much. He's like, no, Dad, it's a little too warm outside. Go get me treats and I will sit here and wag my tail and look cute, <laughs> which is what they're supposed to do, I guess. Like yesterday, this razor is just a blast to use. I had somebody ask me the other day why I don't always take off all the lather when I'm getting ready to do a, a, another stroke or pass. And I like to leave a little bit of residual on the leading edge of the razor just in case just for slickness purposes that way you don't get any skipping or chattering or at least you try not to try not to get it
just tab in the clean up. I'm leaving a little bit of a residual on the, the edge of the blade, especially for the cleanup, buffing, and passes is super important, I think. That's all she wrote. I'll clean up a little bit here and we'll show you what we used. And of course, as always, Prorosso Alum. Beautiful shave today. That razor is so fun to use. And it's got a lot of history to it. Uh, it was actually given to me by my partner and good friend, C.B. Lindsay. And for our post shave, we're gonna be using Thayer's Cucumber today. I haven't used this in a bit. Usually save this only for when I'm using uh, Ethos Green Fresh, because it's got a cucumber note in it and uh it goes really well okay here's what we used for today now uh, for the ra for the razor a 5 8 genco easy aces uh the point is not muted uh it is just a tremendous razor i got fortunate i did i do not have the original metal inlay for the uh, scales so i found some chrome paint not the greatest but uh and then i was able to uh, coat it in urethane and it uh Looks pretty good. It turned out pretty well. For the aftershave, Nivea 2-in-1, and the Aquanaut is gone for a ride. If you haven't tried the Nivea 2-in-1, and if you watch Nurse Dave, how could you have not? It is wonderful. It is really, really nice. It has a nice cooling effect. Good for the face. Um, it'll appear to go on a little bit oily, but it will uh, smooth out uh, a lot uh, once it dries down. A uh, little bit of talc today. And for the soap, we certainly do miss this gentleman uh, around the forum. He was uh, one of our artists and vendors for a long time, and that's Dale from Victory Soap uh, Company, or Victory Saving Company, I'm sorry. Uh, he has sunset, since sunsetted his business, but his business was always a theme as far as the soaps are concerned. And today I use my favorite, which is a flight engineer. But just to give you an idea, I have to turn this kind of upside down to read this. But the notes on this are bamboo, ginger, and coconut. 
And uh, if you understand the story, B-17 bombers and crews were primarily associated with the European theater. However, B-17 bombers and their crews served with great distinction in the Pacific. And grandma's homemade cookies never looked like store-bought cookies, but man, were they good. Uh, and the, there were small batches of gingerbread cookies that were sent over to the uh, troops. So that bamboo was for the Pacific, the ginger and the coconut. So just a tremendous soap and it lathers wonderfully. And then for the brush, we did use another Americana brush, a rubber set 404 with a TGN Finest Badger Nut in it. And for our cologne today, we are going to be using Royal Musk. So kind of a nice tribute shave. That's all I have for you, folks. So if you are uh, celebrating the holiday, uh, please remember what it's for. Um, some gave all. Uh, some came back. And uh, today is to give remembrance to those folks that never made it home. So, Barber Dave's Barbershop at Home. Have a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.